It doesn't seem like that long ago that we went for our first swim, that the forest turned green and we built our garden. But now the goldenrod is blooming strong and the monarchs are getting fat on their milkweed. All our four seasons are beautiful in their own little ways, but what makes them truly special is that eventually they fade into something new. pile up, I like to get a sunrise breakfast alone and write about them, to seal them in time forever. And on a few days when Allie hand-filled her Etsy orders, I went to the cabin to keep working on the staircase. I was making it up as I went along, which is my favorite way to build, and the way I'm most productive, the same way I used to build forts on the riverbanks as a kid. Then in late July, I loaded the boards in the bed of Old Blue and drove down Route 8 to see my good friend Hunter. You could tell stories like no one on earth. Your ally was left. You knew well its word. We trade off secret spots in our own respective hills whenever we see each other. And it's always a hoot to try and one-up each other and cross our fingers for some kind of crawdad miracle. The days that fill my soul are the ones that pull you right through them without you even trying. They place you in moving water with the golden sun on your cheeks, and you feel relieved because you know you're right where you need to be. Man, but that's quite a stretch right there. <coughs> wow, there's tons of them, dude. I've never seen this many. Wait, this is still what it dude because it's in the current look at one two three four five dude six seven this is unbelievable i'm so excited to this worked out dude look at this i can feel them hitting They don't like the sand, man. They like the rock. <laughs> so, so we swam with the crayfish, marveled at the ritz of the northwest corner, and hit a half dozen swimming holes. There's truth somewhere in there.
and I drove north with a half bottle of mezcal and 500 grams of fresh ground whole wheat flour, where I met Allie and the family at the lake for a ride on the pontoon. And though we never spend much time on the big central county lakes, they truly are gorgeous, and they show these hills in all their bulbous glory. And this particular weekend felt more like summer than any other this season. It was the long morning drive in old blue with the windows down and sunglasses up after a late night. And the sunburn from yesterday's paddleboard and the junk food and the high noon swan dive into the big Berkshire puddle. And then being surrounded by small town American families, all doing the same sort of thing. And later that day, we stopped by the little red house on the way to check on the cabin garden, where river towels were hung on the railing to dry, as the drought was starting to hit hard and the heat was relentless. Looks like somebody's been swimming. I was going from over on the right. Cabin Garden, the first wave of our humble harvest was underway. And just before July came to an end, we picked up Noah and Kaylee and headed to get our only taste of the ocean this summer. Being able to ride bikes to the beach is the kind of getaway that I lay in my Milltown apartment and dream about. Because though my heart will always be with the hills, I'd love to have an oceanside spot later in life to create art and to tap into different inspirations. I never spent much time at the ocean as a kid, so there's so much I want to learn about seaside life. And though I filmed a bit on this trip, it was the most relaxed I felt all summer. 
away from the computer and physical projects with no goals or schedule other than be with my close friends and admire all that the ocean has to offer. of saltwater summer and on our last full day we went looking for the sunset out on the rocks
and on our final day, we rode those silly little rockets around Newport before heading off. a rainy night ride home on the highway in the van with squeaky windshield wipers and freight liners on both sides of us. But we made it home safe and immediately got to work clearing out my old office before August 1st. It was many days of lugging heavy things around, loading up old blue to the brim and running back and forth, organizing what to keep and what to give away. As we set a lot of cool things that I had collected over the years out front, for the local townsfolk to pick at. And I must say, it's really a great feeling to see someone's face light up as they find something they needed in the stuff that you've let go. And though it was bittersweet saying goodbye to this place, I had no doubt in my mind it was time to move on. And as I closed the green door and locked it for the final time, I wondered what might become of that little brick building in the heart of town. And as soon as early August, we started feeling change afoot. the old office operation was complete. It was time to dig in and make serious strides at the cabin. But August was one of Allie's busiest months ever on Etsy. So while she filled orders, I had another solo cabin day where I finished up the staircase and made a plan for the next stretch of work. the day with one of the best workouts there is. Ten trips of water up the hill and back. The kind of full body burn you can't get many other ways. kept eating our garden's bounty as it appeared, and eventually my friend Mitch met me at the cabin to finally tie in the electrical. That was impossible. Good luck with that. (laughs) I already dented that window pretty bad. (laughs) 
This is what I was worried about. And then you can, but this is how I'm gonna be able to power with any of my portable power stations or anything. I can just plug it right into this transfer switch. Well, have fun, boys. All right. You know, we're doing what we can here. <laughs> and it is fun. And it was surreal to see the light when I hit the kitchen switch. And I can't wait to tell you more about the full off-grid power setup I'm going to be installing this fall. Oh, you did my Rainbow and sunset at the same time. Really? Just looking down for it. There's got to be a really cool rainbow scene here. Right here above the river, there's a rainbow. What? Look, look, look. <laughs> And the more time we spent at the cabin, the more details we started to see in different light. I wander down to the river like I always do. Skip some stones like I always do. Reflected on truths that I always knew. Wondering why I forgot them. Down to the river like I always do Skip some stones like I always do Reflected on truths that I always do I forgot all my And we checked out a few properties for sale as the first signs of goldenrod started popping up. <laughs> what do you think, Moss? and we savored little moments of cricket sound serenity in the evenings and got after it every day of the week, balancing computer work that kept our businesses going with power tool days that kept our dream alive. And as August moved along, little signs of change started popping up in the familiar places. continued to stop by every day we were working and had me try on one of her handmade fall hoodies for her Etsy store too. using old barn wood from the local farm, some of the beautiful maple that Mason finished from the office, and some old beams from Jack's property for all the finishing touches. Oh, these are all, all sweet. And one day we stopped by Jack's to grab my pizza oven and pick up a few beams that I had bought back in the spring. And we noticed his apple tree was sporting some decent looking fruit. And along the roadsides, there were more signs of change peeking through here and there. In 
And one of my favorite parts about these August cabin days was this little brown bird who built a nest on the porch and would feed her chirping babies all day long while we worked. And it was so much fun trimming out all the windows and piecing everything together with the old barnwood to ultimately get a look that I had dreamed of for so many years. And we became friends with the mama bird and it was always a joy to see her fly by. And I gotta say, she was brave for keeping her children fed amongst the noise of those power tools. Look, 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 they're opening their mouth. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> Why'd you come in here? She was like under the tarp, and I said, what's she doing? What? Under the tarp? Yeah. And it was so dry by this point in the summer, you'd kick up a cloud of dust just from walking down to the cabin. What am I? First of all, we had a huge spider on the outside there. Okay. Just huge spider comes down, like big thick black one, almost gets sucked in and then crawls back in and up. And I flinched, so it got away, but. And on one night in particular, we pushed through the tiredness and the hunger to finish laying down the floor in the loft, which felt like a major turning point for completion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be long now till we'd be sleeping up there and watching the wood smoke plume out the chimney from that funky round window. And as the fog started making hazy sunrise magic, I began waking up before the sun every day to capture it and train my mind for the mad rush of fall where I'd work harder than I ever had to put myself in a position of opportunity for 2023. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees Let me fly like the leaves when they fall Serene like a cool water stream that runs from the mountain so tall. Oh, take me back down the old dirt road. Take me 
way back down the old dirt road. And then we picked out a birch tree railing in my parents' woods and wandered through the yard, enjoying the August abundance. Man. <laughs> That's the jackpot. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, what is the? Are these cukes? Yeah. That's. Uh. Can't wait till ours is like this. These are way healthier than ours. I thought that they popped earlier. I thought peas yeah. were always one of the first things. I think she did them late. She said. Oh. And there's no feeling like eating your way through an August garden. Dang. <laughs> cabin, our own garden was continuing to provide in its own little way. the bed facing the river, the most usable layout with the best flow meant that you walked up the stairs and could fall into the bed, which still allowed for great views out the big windows. And on this day we forgot the pizza peel and had to make one out of cedar shakes. And we cooked my homemade sourdough and garnished with peppers and basil from the garden. And if you're looking for a step-by-step -step video on how to make your own sourdough pizza, I just posted one on my Patreon, along with years worth of other bonus content. And the link is right down in the video description. But beware, once you make your own sourdough pizza, no other pizza will ever cut it. With the loft nearly done, it was almost time for the most important part, the kitchen. And while picking up the stove for the cabin, I cut my finger in a non-glorious Home Depot accident, which was a humble reminder to be grateful for my fully functioning body. And at the end of August, I met my family for a pancake breakfast before we went up to my cousin's. And I found a nice big trout in the old swimming hole that my dad said would be there. I showed up early and wandered around the property thinking about my younger years and admiring all the late summer details. I like the height though, it's gotta be, do you think it's eight feet tall? Yeah, it's close for sure, yeah.
trout down there. Yeah. Pretty, pretty big. And I had an absolute blast with my cousins. I played badminton till I was sore and watched the dragonflies eat the mosquitoes out of the air. And we shot arrows and threw axes. And I joked around with my oldest cousin, Ed, who was one of the best storytellers I know. I wish I had been able to spend more time with my cousins when we were younger. They have a great brotherhood and it's fun to be around. Now they're all grown up with kids but they definitely still have that boyhood exuberance in them, and we all connect on it. So I know there will be plenty more days like this as we go through life. All right. Wow. Oh, that, just that just digs into you. <laughs> This is crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. You comfortable? No. <laughs> and Mitch helped me move the dreaded stove in and did a few last tweaks to the electrical. You got these guys that are labeled orange. Can't tell which wire is which. <laughs> That's how it's done. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. Watch me. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool, huh? You can do a whole disco party too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. And by some full circle miracle, a new resident had taken up my old office. The very man that helped build it in the first place. <laughs> wow, come on in. <laughs> I can't believe this. Welcome to the Trout and Coffee. <laughs> Card games. Seriously, this yeah. is going to be so sick yeah. for like having people over. Well, like, we never got the party here, so now we can. I, know, I was just thinking because, that. Like, you could never really have people. Mitch, Hunter, and I had turned this place from an old dump into a beautiful modern studio. And now, Mitch gets to carry on the legacy with a brand new chapter. And I started making designs for my new fall coffee blends and fall merchandise coming later this September. I'll finally have a decaf coffee for those who have been asking, and I'm turning my fall photographs into puzzles. I can't wait to show you what else I have in store, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you that rep my gear. And so as summer slipped away, we got a few last tastes before the feeling faded. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising, watching out for number one. You gotta slow down, look around. I think I would say Today yeah. is just today and not tomorrow Where you're going They just kept diving at You it. can rest your head Where you're going Brightness looks big That's Where so you're mean. going Truth Fair came into town right around Allie's birthday, where we'd wave farewell to summer from the top of the Ferris wheel for the second year in a row. Be hard working so you can be deserving of the rest that you are given. You got a slow. Brightness looks 
And the 